At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. This portion of the news is brought to you by Dr. George Leakes, Pahrump's optometrist since 1990. Offering full spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. Welcome back to News 46. Healthcare Partners Specialty Clinic on Postal Road is offering a new testing for heart patients who usually have to travel to Las Vegas to see their doctor. We have a total of six cardiologists in health, or excuse me, six electrophysiologists with Healthcare Partners uh, Cardiology, and all of us will be available to come down to Prump uh, and provide uh, consultation and arrhythmia, arrhythmia management services uh, for the entire city of Prump. We have a little bit older population here. Are you finding that uh, this is something that is really convenient for the population, not having to go over the hill not um, to get these kind of testings done? Absolutely. This is very convenient. And I think if you can minimize the travel time and make it more uh, affordable and also make it more convenient for the patients, uh, we're actually going to be able to provide more comprehensive care uh, and more thorough care with the luxury of patients not having to go to Las Vegas to receive uh, electrophysiologic consultation. How does a person manage this type of uh, regular heartbeat? Well, it depends on the etiology or the cause of the uh, irregular or regular heartbeat. Uh, if it's an irregular heartbeat, such as atrial fibrillation, that's actually in probably three to four million Americans right now. Uh, those patients are at increased risk of stroke and they also can have significant symptoms. Uh, so the two treatments uh, that are absolutely essential with those types of patients with atrial fibrillation, they need to be taking blood thinners to lower the risk of stroke, and then they also probably need to be on medications to either slow the heart rate down or encourage the heart rate to beat normally with an antiarrhythmic medication. So this can be managed in order to bring you quality and uh, length of life? Absolutely. This uh, uh, treatment of arrhythmic heart disease uh, can absolutely prolong uh, life and most importantly improve the quality of life and reduce symptoms uh, that aren't necessarily associated with patients uh, who have coronary artery disease or blockages in the heart but just patients who actually have conduction system disease uh, with the electrical system in the heart. Now let's join Deanna O'Donnell to find out what's happening this week in the world of entertainment. Well, you may have heard Jay Leno is officially leaving The Tonight Show in 2014. Comedian Jimmy Fallon will replace the longtime Tonight Show host in a move that has been rumored to be in the works for several weeks. Back in 2009, Leno stepped down when Conan O'Brien hosted the show for several months, but the veteran late-night star eventually reclaimed his hosting gig in 2010. This time, it seems Leno will be done with The Tonight Show for good. The 62-year-old Leno took over The Tonight Show from Johnny Carson in 1992. Over the past several weeks, many speculated Leno was on the way out as he mocked NBC executives on air, leaving viewers wondering if tensions were running high behind the scenes. Michael Jackson's last concert promoter is defending themselves in a wrongful death lawsuit filed by the pop icon's family and arguing that Jackson was responsible for his own demise. Child molestation accusations against Jackson, for which he was acquitted after a trial on evidence of his drug addiction, will likely be presented by AG Live's lawyers as they argue that the company had no liability in his death. The Jackson versus AEG Live trial could last two or three months. Jackson died two weeks before his This Is It comeback concerts organized by AEG Live were to have debuted in London in the summer of 2009. The Jackson family claimed that AEG Live hired Conrad Murray, Jackson's personal physician, who has been convicted of manslaughter in Jackson's death. Rock duo Hall & Oates are making a return trip to Las Vegas for a two-night bill at the joint at the Hard Rock Hotel. The venue announced the group will play on August 2nd and 3rd. Tickets for the show go on sale Friday at noon. The group, comprised of vocal guitarist Daryl Hall and lead guitarist John Oates, last played the joint in August of 2012. The duo is celebrating its 40th anniversary of its second album, Abandon Luncheonette, this year. I'm Deanne O'Donnell. That's your entertainment this week. And today's business news is brought to you by Angela Miles with your first business brief. 
This is the first business brief for Thursday, April 4th. I'm Angela Miles. Generic prescription drugs may be overpriced at some pharmacies. Consumer Reports sent secret shoppers into 200 stores to check prices on copycats of Actos, Lexapro, Lipitor, Plavix, and Singulaire. The survey found CVS charging $150 per month for generic Lipitor, which sold at Costco for $17. CVS calls the survey too small to draw conclusions. BP is powering down its wind farm business to focus on fossil fuels. BP plans to sell 16 wind farms with assets of more than $5 billion. Profits will help pay for the 2010 oil spill in the Gulf, estimated to cost the company $42 billion. And President Obama is taking a 5% pay cut in solidarity with federal workers who are furloughed because of sequestration. That's the First Business Brief. I'm Angela Miles. Well, do you know how to increase the resolution on your personal computer? Graydon from Great Computer Deals on Highway 372 shows us how. Hi, my name is Graydon. I'm the service technician here at Great Computer Deals. If you're having a computer problem, come down and see us. We can help. If you're using Windows 7, follow these instructions. Right-click on the desktop. Click Screen Resolution. Open the Resolution drop-down menu. To enlarge screen content, drag the slider bar down and click the OK button. If you're OK with the new look, click Keep Changes. Again, feel free to adjust these settings in either direction until you receive the desired effect. Come down and see us on Highway 372, one block west of Big O Tires. Or give us a call, 775-990-8833. All right, folks, we'll keep it here because we're going to have your weather after these messages with Ian B. Clark. Join us at the Prump Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prump Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prump Nugget Hotel and Casino. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump, local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Today we have mostly cloudy skies, 84 degrees. Winds, you could kind of feel them today coming out of the south-southwest at 9, gusts up to 20 there. 30.04 pressure falling, UV index at 6, low humidity 18%, 625 a.m. sunrise, record high 94 degrees there, 1961. Looking at tonight, partly cloudy skies, so those clouds are going to slightly come away. 56 for your low, winds southwest at 8, gusts at 16, so winds aren't going to calm down very much. 36% humidity, 7.09 p.m. sunset, record low 31 degrees in 1945. Tomorrow, Friday, mostly sunny skies, 81 there for your high, 54 for the low. Winds southwest at 6, gusts at 10, 27% humidity, 624 a.m. sunrise, and UV index is actually going to be very high. It's going to be at 8. So partly cloudy skies Friday on to Monday, temperatures staying in the 80-degree range there, so 81 Friday, 82 Saturday, and then lows staying around the 50s, mid-50s, 55 Saturday, 56 on Sunday. St. Martin's Episcopal Church is sponsoring a teen night tomorrow night from 6 p.m. until 9 p.m. at the Knight Communities Coalition campus located at the corner of West and Wilson Street. This free activity is open to middle school through high school age students and includes an evening of games, karaoke, food, and fun. For more information, call the Knight Communities Coalition office at 727-9970 or Julie Platson at 537 one 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 five. Well, you're invited to join Senator Pete Guicachia, Assemblyman John Ellison, Elson, and James Oscarson to participate in the weekly rural conference call Friday at Friday at noon at their office located in the Haven Building on Highway 160, next to Nevada State Bank. And that does it for this edition of News 46. I'm Glenn Evers. And I'm Monique Mitchell. And from everyone here at Channel 46, we wish you a great night, and we hope you'll join us tomorrow. Good night. Good night.